Hi guys, uh, welcome to my Sunday video. I have the unboxing for you guys today and I'm doing it in this angle today just because um, it's gonna be a little different. So as you can see, I have the box, but I think you can tell it's probably, uh, it is a um, vintage purchase, so it's um, a pre-love purchase. And this one, today's unboxing, it's a real, real vintage. So this one is probably from um, from before 1990, so like in the 80s, I think. And this is a true unboxing, so I'm gonna open it with you guys. And like I said, I, I'm hoping to do it a little differently this time because, um, because what I want to do with this bag is I want to do a little like restoration or how do you call it like um, yeah bag restoration kind of video so um, trying to bring back its glory because this bag is so old and is pr like very beat up um, but I was able to get it for a very good price so again, I did the bidding on eBay, and um, and you can see this is a true unboxing. So you guys are gonna see how beat up it is with me. Um, and I'll reveal what the bag is if I can get it open. Um, so I can tell you the story now as I'm trying to get the box open. But I got this bag for hundred dollar, I think hundred. Uh, just over hundred US dollar and it did have a stripping fee and um, Like the regular duty charges and everything but again this bag basically cost me about 200 Canadian dollar So it's really cheap. I mean With two hundred dollar, you know including tax and everything you barely can get anything right now Not even a wallet. So let alone like a real bag so that's why I went ahead and got it. Oh my gosh, it's actually quite small. It's like a teeny bag. So I think this is like there. So today, after a couple like vintage bag unboxing, I realized I really need to stuff these bags to show you guys what they look like. So there's a thank you card. I'm sorry, so I'm recording this at night because shipping came really, really late and I wasn't able to have this filmed prior to oh my god it's actually looking a lot nicer than I expected like I said I'm sorry the lighting is really bad so it looks really dark in the video I think but it's really in actually quite decent condition it's like nice and clean I'm so surprised I don't even know if my video is gonna make sense now for the restoration because it's actually in like very decent condition by itself okay I'm gonna try to open up and stuff it so let's try the zipper. And by the zipper, you guys can tell how ancient this is because this is the older format um, zipper. And I think if it was a yellow golding uh, coating at some point, it's kind of pretty much all fade out now. So it's all silver, but it looks really nice and, and clean and shiny. So I'm just gonna buff it and um, using some brass or something to uh, metal polisher to make it shine again. But it's actually, because I thought it would be all like chipped and stuff. Um, now I'm so curious to figure out if this was originally silver or it's um, just, just uh, the, the maybe the coating just fade off completely. Let me put on, okay, let me open it up and stuff it for you guys so you guys can see exactly what it is. doesn't have any weird smell or anything like that okay I have to admit this bag is way smaller than I thought it would be um, let me see if I can find just the right things to stuff it feel like there's enough in there to show okay. Okay, put in a bit more stuff. I'm just throwing some old clothes in there so I could like see how it looks like once I have things in there. The zipper is running actually really nice uh, nicely. Yeah, 
Yeah, the bag is actually in a much better condition than I thought. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's all, all uh, filled up. I have to say, like, it is giving me a little bit of weird feeling. Like, I'm not too concerned about the authenticity because it is from a pretty big seller. Um, they seem to have, like, lots of stuff. Um, but maybe I'll do a bit of more research on because I think it's just so ancient that, you know, the canvas does feel a little different to me. Like, just not the... Um, not the same material that I'm kind of used to. I'm not sure why it's being treated like that. If any of you guys see any kind of anything wrong with this bag, please let me know. Um, so I did notice like on the pictures, the zipper color is really, really dark. So I assume it's just because over the years, uh, the hardware has tarnished. That's why it's um, showing that really dark color. I, there were some stains on the strap which um, is also not like, I'm not surprised by it, like you can see here. I don't think it's stuff that I can actually remove, but I was gonna try it anyway. Again, like I said, because it's such a good prize, I didn't really care that, you know, it had some flaws. Um, okay, anyways, I'll stop my video here and I'll maybe even take some pictures with it, just so you guys know how it looked like before and after the restoration and I will continue my video once I have a chance to clean this bag and um, shine the gar uh, the hardware and see where, where it goes after. But it'll be in the same video, so. All right guys, so I've done some work on it. So I think um, so when I did the unboxing, it was nighttime. Um, I wasn't able to give you guys a very clear view of what the bag looks like. So I will insert a few pictures now. So as you can see, the bag um, is quite beat up when I first got it. And it had some very obvious um, black stain. It had stains on the handle part. It had stain all over the canvas. Um, and the shape was like very, very off. It wasn't like a, you know, a very nice silicone shape. Um, so after I got it, I did some uh, cleaning. Um, I cleaned up the canvas with like, well, wiped it with baby wipe first. So the few um, concerns that I had when I pr purchased the bag, and I, um, I mentioned earlier, like it was really cheap. So overall it was only a hundred, uh, roughly a hundred US dollar. So one thing it was really bad, it was the zipper. I'll put in a picture again. The zipper is like was really, really dark and you can barely see the zipper but I did a little bit of polishing. As you can see, it's coming back a little bit. I think I'll do give another round. Um, we'll probably bring back a lot more of the gold, but the good thing is it does work really, really nicely. Like, there's no issue in terms of the, the usability or anything like that. The tab, that was also one thing I was a little kind of bothered about is it's complete um, silver now, which is fine. At least it looks, Kind of shiny so that's also one negative side about it um, I will show you guys so on the picture you guys saw there was a lot of like dark stain uh, earlier I was able to remove all that basically with um, just diluted acetone so that was really really nice um, there is a little bit of a scruff or burnt mark or something but really it's hard to see with especially with a handle up Another thing I did is I polished the hardware. So you can see here it's actually really nice and shiny compared to this side, which I haven't done it yet. You can see it's actually quite a big difference. Right? I'll show you guys the other side again. So all I did is just like wipe it with some brasso and it's life again. And then the stand on the handle, again, some diluted acetone. I think I rub it a little bit too hard. So I did remove some of the just color on the original leather, but the stain didn't come off and from far, it really doesn't show much. So one other thing is the shape. So now I've stepped the shape and now the, the circle side are coming back again. It was not in a circular shape. It was very like beat up and squeezed down. So now on both sides, 
you can see it's pretty much coming but i'm still stuffing it with stuff the only another concern i have with this bag is the inside the lining doesn't really is not really sticking well to the canvas so even if you stuff the bag itself to the max it won't actually stuff the canvas fully so it's very hard initially i was really naive i was like oh the shape doesn't matter because you can just stuff it and then it will look nice but it's actually trickier to get the shape back um but i think i'm doing okay with it and i think overall you know a hundred dollar for this bag is really really a good buy all right this is some overall look all right this is my first time trying this kind of video so i hope you guys enjoy it um and i will talk to you guys soon uh if you follow my other video i did recently purchase the mini uh, mini push it SS as well so I'm thinking to compare that with my regular mini PA um, and that will be hopefully for Wednesday thanks for watching you guys bye